Yo, what up fam? You here with your boy D Tripper. Um, I'm a Kiwi creator, just trying to make some noise at the moment. I live in Auckland City, it's a beautiful place. I'm on all the platforms, um, D Tripper, D E Tripper. <laughs> man, the house is a bit of a mess, but I thought, man, if I'm gonna keep this real, might as well just keep this real. I'm feeling creative. I'll clean that shit up later. There's McDonald's, there's fish and chips, there's <laughs> All my creators film me. Well, this video, this is more for creators. Um, I'm a Kiwi, like I've done a lot of things in between. I guess I've lived in Australia for like seven years or something. Just gone back to New Zealand, been back here a year. Um, I think I get a, I've got a fair understanding of how all the different platforms work. So this is more of a video for free. Um, ways of growing organically in your area and just, just the tips I know. They're just things I've learned along the way from other people that have done videos like this. I think there's not many for New Zealand and um, Australia. So if you guys are, I don't know, whether you're a model trying to grow your account, whether you're a funny dude just trying to get your shit a bit more viral, um, this isn't super complicated stuff. This is just algorithm kind of things that I figured out that work in these areas. They don't always work, but you just gotta kind of try use whatever you're given for free. You know, this is just time and effort. You gotta put it for free, see what works. If that works, magnify that. If that doesn't work, fuck it off. You know, just use what will work for you. Um, I think I'll start with, I don't really understand Facebook. Facebook is constantly changing. So I'll leave Facebook to a very bare minimum. So I'll move straight on to, um, I guess Instagram. Instagram is like, I, I think people don't understand what hashtags are. Hashtags, just put them in columns. So every time you hashtag something, there's a column, singular, like, you know, column, just full of all those pictures. There's ones with like multi millions, there's ones with like less than 100. So each time you hashtag something, so if, if you're a flower person, you hashtag flowers, it falls into a category of the algorithm that other people have used to hashtag flowers or like something and, and follow the hashtag like something that has been hashtagged by that that means that more of that stuff will pop up either in their search or um you know on their news feed when they if they do follow the hashtags so when you hashtag something you want it to be kind of specific to where you are or what you're doing you know i guess to, to a degree a niche so say you're a skater skateboard skating skate life da -da -da. but then also where are you are you at marlborough park um glenfield college are you town central are you south auckland you know, hashtag these things because then they fall in, again, algorithms that fit into those little areas. And it's, if you're growing your account, don't feel ashamed to use hashtags. What I do do though, is I put a dot and then I go down a bar, dot, down a bar, down a bar. And you just move the hashtags away. So like they're not right there in people's faces because sometimes they, for me personally, I think they look dorky. Whereas if you put them down, like people know they're there, but by then they're ready to scroll on. But if it's right under the words of your caption, then they, they tend to read them. And I'm a bit of a dick. I'll try to put like a funny hashtag at the end. Just in case someone has read them, I'll be like, bro, did you just read all these hashtags? As a hashtag at the very end. I know it's got none, but it kind of quirks it up a bit so they don't kind of come back because hashtags are kind of dorky. Um, location. Location super massive for like, especially Snapchat but, um, and Instagram. Like when I move into an area, I go into location. I check all the bars, roads around me. I um, go and I like people in that area stuff. Like if, if I think that will get a connection, then I'll like... Um, probably three of their pictures, comment on one and then follow them. Honestly, when you look in your notifications and you've got three likes and a comment and, and then they've followed you, you're like, oh, shit, this person really likes me. And it's natural for a human to want to feel wanted. So, you know, that does work pretty good. Um, another thing is just being in that area. When you go to a bar, tag that bar. All of a sudden, that bar might post you on their story. All of a sudden, you've got an extra 5,000 people looking at a story. So that's kind of like, you know, a big thing too. Oh, sorry, I'm just putting this arrow up by the camera, even though I've got glasses on now. This is that Casey thing. See how you're not looking at my eyes now? That's another reason I, I've got glasses. I feel like it makes it, I don't know. Eyes tend to, yeah. I don't really have, you know, and I'm usually among ears, so. <laughs> hey, gotta tell the truth, man. Gotta keep it real. Each day their own, as long as you're smiling, each day I'm happy. Um, so back, yeah, to Instagram. Um, the other thing too, now they've got Reels. Reels is a lot like TikTok, but you can't control what you look at in the Reels. So the Reels is kind of like, I'm still figuring it out a bit, but if you are someone who can get more viral, when I say viral, it has to be really beautiful. Like I think Instagram's still on that beauty level. They fucking, all of their stuff has got like one song. There's millions and millions of ones just to it. And they all look the same to me, but they've got fucking phenomenal amounts of views. So it is still a beauty thing on um, Instagram. They like that colorful shit. I've tried a few funny videos. I thought they're funny as fuck. And 
yeah, put it on another platform, boom. So yeah, you got to figure out which one works for you too. If you are very much photogenic stuff, you know, Instagram's definitely that place. If you're trying to sell shit, it's real easy to sell it on there too. You can tag your items if you do have a link to your store, blah, blah, blah. And your stories. So, oh, and this is another thing, I mean, sorry. Um, when you post, a post is how you get people to come and follow you because then it falls into all these different places. So when you hashtag, 30 hashtags is falling into 30 different columns on top of your location. And um, if you tag people, say you're wearing a pair of Nike shoes in the background or something like that, you can tag them and it does like add to their algorithm too. So you like, you know, you're a part of what they're following an algorithm does give so try use those things a lot i think you really want something interactive too people just post really pretty pictures but no one can really say oh that's pretty 20 times if you've gotten 20 beautiful pictures if you ask a question it's really cool um what's your favorite rose and you've got a picture of your fucking bouquet and you work at a florist or something you know what i mean you want them people to be able to interact by a question a question or when was the last time you had a beer at fucking I don't know, I don't know any bars, <laughs> Sky City, <laughs> and try to use the little little ones, I want to be honest, when you're going for big hashtags, big locations, or big names, they're probably never ever going to look at you, but now and again, like, I Cara Rickard post something that I'd written one time, and she's on um, MyFem, I think, and you know, that was just from tagging her and stuff, interacting with her stories, interaction, like, you have to love it, which means you have to love the people that want to follow you, you can't just be all cool, and like, I tend not to write comments back because I take shit quite personally. You need to figure out what works for you. So now, I took it from Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan's like, I never read the comments. Now, like, I don't feel snobby if I don't answer back. I know that is a great way of growing, like, people. Because once you've got a strong following, like, people actually wake up and want to see you each day. That's when you know you've got them. And that's when you know you've done everything right. Especially on Instagram. Because then it's good with Instagram because it can just flood through to Facebook. Mine does. I don't even have Facebook on my phone. Up. Yeah. It's my own issues, but you know, <laughs> I know that I'm gonna have to end up back there. Um, real quick, I'll move to Snapchat. Snapchat is not really used by everyone, but the people that it is used by are very not staunch by it, but they do interact with their Snapchat quite a lot. Um, it is kind of a weird place, but there is a Snap Map thing. I'm gonna tell you why Snapchat's real powerful. It's because you can go into the map and you can see people in your area now and again. You'll get a creator if you add that creator. All of a sudden, it adds, like, say you're on zero, you've just started the Snapchat account. You're in the area, you go into the maps, click on someone, you find a creator. Now and again, their name will be in the bottom when you watch their stories through the maps. And if it says view creator, you swipe up, boom, add them, and then it'll give you some quick ads. Those quick ads are people that are friends of that person. And then once you get a few of them, these people are usually typically always in the same area. So all of a sudden you've got all these people in one area, you just, you can go into quick ad and every other couple of hours or maybe like four hours, you can get a hundred quick ads. And I know you don't know these people, but if you're trying to grow an account, you've got shit worth watching. They're going to go, who the fuck is this? They'll see it and go, oh fuck, this is some cool ass shit. I'm going to watch it. I don't even know who this motherfucker is. Um, it is good to interact with them. I don't interact with anyone on Snapchat, but I've got it up to about 5,000 in a week. And um, what you can do with Snapchat, so say, you know, you continue to rinse the cycle every four hours, just put a reminder on your phone, go back to QuickAid, you're getting 100, you know, clicks. Out of that, that percentage, probably not everyone, because most people are very New Zealand and Australia, I'm talking about. They're like, who the fuck's this? They don't know me. You know, we're very, I don't know, we think everything's still Facebook. The whole world's interacting with each other, and they're never going to meet each other. They love this shit, man. This is the way the world works now. Kiwis and Australians were like, man, have I met you somewhere, bro? Do I know you? Like, very, <laughs> I went to paranoid, but <laughs> we, we watch what we do, so mm, we care who's watching. If you are looking to grow your account, that's what this is for. It's for growing an account. You have to suck in your ego. You have to realize what works, what was free and if again if you got shit worth watching if you got some dope content if you're putting out fucking sick photos or even if you're an only fans motherfucker man you got to grow your shit grow is the reach you're like a salesman that's pretty much what you're doing you're selling what you believe in and what i believe in is me so i'm selling me and now i'm trying to not sell you this but i'm trying to give you this for free why because i want to see you succeed if you succeed i feel fucking why yeah man like even if it was, you don't remember it was me who told you that now it's in your brain you're starting to think about it a bit differently. So I've got mine up to 5,000 followers now. I'd say if I can up, I get about 300 views. So like you don't get a ginormous percentage, especially at first. Like I'm very rude on there. So like 
I know most people are like shocked when they first see me and they're like, what the fuck? Because they don't know me. But the more you get to know me, you're like, that's just Dave, you know? And then that is, it's just me being me. But when you first see it, you're like, bro, this dude just like, was he talking about anal? <laughs> and then everyone's kind of like, the fuck? And then once they watch a few, they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> and everyone does, because when you're telling the truth, people eventually will see that you're telling the truth. If you're a liar, you're going to get exposed at some point. You can get a bazillion followers and getting exposed in front of all of them. Way worse. Just be real. If you love Smurfs, be a Smurf motherfucker, man. I remember hearing that one time and it just stuck. And I was like, fuck yeah. I, I've seen the crazy shit. I know this one account. They've just got the stick man. They take them all around the world, the fucking world, and just take pictures of this cunt. It's a stick man. And it is so fun. Like I read, like they make a story up and shit. It's fucking cool. So there's everything being done right now in New Zealand and Australia. We're part of this world. But this shit's popping overseas, and that's what I mean. I'm really trying to break that market. That's why I've taken this opportunity with this American fellow. I think I can learn a lot from him. He believes in me, and he doesn't want to edit me, so that's, that's mega dope. But sorry, back to Snapchat. When you're in Snapchat, it's got this little um, paperclip bit on the side. That paperclip bit can add any website in the world. So if I've got 300 views now, like typically, these are the ones that are there all the time now. They, 300 people can see me attach a website. So say this YouTube video now, I can say, and you know, a very small percentage of that again, but they're all free. So say 50 people to 100 people come over and they watch that video, there's 100 views. You know, if, if I've got them to move over to Instagram, that's maybe half of them, you get like 150 follows. So, you know, these, these are powerful tools, you know, but you can't just bombard them too. Give them shit worth watching. Give them shit they want to see. Like, be you more than anything, but be entertaining. Break your day down into different ways to tell me a story. That's, that's pretty much what social media is. It's a story. And people like short stories, the long stories. They like all types of stories. You can tell your fucking story better than anyone because it's your fucking life. No one lives your life. I know you think you're probably not that interesting or whatever you think. It's cool. You, oh, the whole world won't think that's cool. There's people out there that do, man. This is a crazy time that we live in. This is the best time ever to live in. We got this. I'm doing this all for free. I bought a phone. That's all I'm using. It's an internet connection. We don't even have Wi-Fi here. We don't have a TV. And I'm trying to live a dream, man. How beautiful is that? I reckon this is going to work, too. I know this is going to work. I believe in myself. But we... Just juice bubbles, too, bro. If they hang up, I'm so hungry. That's why I'm looking so shady. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so Snapchat, you can use them to connect to a website and boom. Say you want to get them to your cooking page, you can connect there after showing them all these cool things. You know it's hype because if you watch it over and over and you're still happy with it, that's a good, like, base of content. Say if you're watching shit and it's cringy or you feel, uh, you know how your energy changes when you watch it, bro? Just get rid of it. Just delete it. Fine-tune shit so it is good. Like, it is good to constantly put shit out, but I think putting good shit out is better than just putting a whole bunch of shit out. Um, TikTok, real quick, <laughs> kind of carried on, this video wasn't supposed to be that long, but, um, TikTok, that one is, is very much, <laughs> you can have a three second video that goes fucking pumping, man, that shit is crazy over there, if you've got a creative mind and you don't give a fuck about where the blurry lines are, whew, just go past those blurry lines and just get that potato, put some fucking fish eyes on it or whatever fucking crazy shit that's going on there, and then put some quirky song, um, quote, or just even apart from the movie, you can screenshot it off YouTube, strip the audio off it, bam, cause you go to fucking content. TikTok is really easy if you if you're creative. And I've seen people just sit there and write a caption, and I'm I'm in tears. It is a great place. Comedy, massive. Um, a lot of fashion. If you're in the fashion and makeup, beauty is fucking heaps and heaps of that for for that type of area. Um, I think even for tradies, there's a lot of tradies on this. Normal, normal people. Stop hating on TikTok and holding on to like your grandparents' way of thinking. They were very small-minded because they had very small resources. We have a phone that gives us anything in the world. I want to learn Spanish. This motherfucker can teach me on YouTube. If you want to learn a guitar, this motherfucker can teach me how to strum an instrument. Motherfucker, what's your excuse? You ain't got no excuses because you've got all the power in the world in these fucking phones. If you're watching this, that means that you've got more than enough resources. So become more resourceful. Use what time and little things that you do have to get that shit done, man. I think people are so scared of starting to just get on that horse, make all the mistakes you can at the beginning and the whole way through whatever you're doing. And it's never going to always be good. And come out as your true self. 
all of us were born to live a life that was made specifically for us. We're not ants, we're not fucking bees building a fucking hive for the queen. Dude, we're born differently and we live in an era where anyone could become anything. And that's proof. Even laws have changed for this. So, you know, it shows what era we're in. Whether you think it's right or wrong, it's a thing and it's happening. Become a part of it. Like, that's what I meant by my, your grandparents' mentality. You've got to get out of that old, this is all I have to do. I have to work, I have to buy a house, I have to get married, and then I have to die. Motherfucker, that's all our grandparents were allowed to do. That's all they could do. Education was motherfucker, but bro, you can reach the entire world for free on any of these platforms. So, yes, TikTok, super, super cool place, man. Really powerful tools in the video editing. Um, just all sorts of, yeah, someone's with me. <laughs> Sorry, got a short attention span. I see a message pop up. Golly. So, um, yeah, TikTok. Even if you just like mime over shit, like it is so easy. And just to your niche, like say you're into rugby, get fucking that badger dude, honey badger, and like mime him. Because like what people do is they put the audio on here, um, and then they kind of like slow it down with the video recording part this, this editing kind of part and then it makes it slower so it's like this so you can really lip it easy and then like you know if, if that's your niche rugby shorts and you're trying to sell those boom do a couple of videos like that get some traction interact with people because things all the platforms just interact with people man if they like your shit and comment don't think you're too cool to comment bad fucking comment don't be like me <laughs> i'm a bit different though because my yeah i know my niche and i know i'm very very borderline getting kicked off all of them all the time so it, if I interact, I'm going to end up being a cunt. So I know I'm just going to lose followings if I feed into these. And I love, I can banter cunts. Like, I can banter. Quick story. <laughs> my nana, like, I got a vasectomy given to me for my 35th birthday. I've got, you know, a history with <laughs> having kids, I guess you could say. <laughs> so um, I, got, I got a... um vasectomy given to me for my 35th birthday for my family i asked my nana to knit me a cock sock that was blue and then i got a, the doctor who, who refused at first i was like dude can you do it that's gold he's like what's it that's gold and i was like bro the footy show that's gold and he was like what that's gold and i was like bro they don't do it anymore i don't think but that's gold can you do that in front of my dick like you know i'm, I'm sitting there with no pants on the nurse is in the corner she's kind of traumatized but like what the fuck is going on this isn't normal i'm sure <laughs> and they're like oh people kid about wanting to get photos but of the nuts while they get sick to me <laughs> and i couldn't help it man i was just like be yourself and i thought it'd be so cool to get a cock sock and so then the girl's not too fucking i don't know it'd be a hot chick and i want the hot chick too <laughs> which is pretty funny because they give you valium and so you get real <laughs> it's almost like drops and mickeys <laughs> and you know everything goes <laughs> um anyway i put that online on this um ball bags and handbags page in australia fuck man the banter was phenomenal he was like you know there's a guy's hand on your dick and i was like yeah both gloves on and you close your eyes and use imagination to be anyone you want <laughs> oh and that dude was like well played too <laughs> both dudes came at me and i was just oh, oh, oh. i do love the old banter so um i try not to because it gets me kicked off people go moan up that if i can own them especially when it's public no one likes to get in publicly so i try not to interact but you guys definitely interactions key to all social medias man people the smallest things, man. I do so now and again. I comment on all the big pages, like people I really like on Instagram. And now and again, I get a like from them on my comment. And I'm like, why oh, there's more people like my comment? And so I know that feeling. So I'm like, dudes, dude, it's make sure you comment, like, give them some love back. Don't make it generic too. Like that fucking. I hate emojis. I might be old school in saying that, but if someone sends me two emojis, I'm like, what the fuck? You wrote a cool sentence. Like, write something back. Write me some words, motherfucker. But anywho, so yeah, that's the basics. TikTok or viral funny videos or just um, quirky, catchy, really quick. Don't go for long. Keep it short. The algorithm on there is, I think, three seconds. So if you get a like within three seconds, it pops. Like, it really pops it. You know, it gets put on heaps more platforms. So all of a sudden, there's like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. And then now and again, you'll put all this time and effort into this really cool video. And it'll get two likes. And you're like, what the fuck? I, I love that video. So it's how TikTok works. Content to grow following. Um... Snapchat, use that, that is powerful, man. Free, 5,000 in just over a week. And now I get, you know, be a minimum of like 100 people at least looking at whatever I send them to via website. Connect it at the bottom, a little paperclip. Instagram, hashtags, locations, 
and tagging people. That, those are pretty much the three things that I've used. Um, I will be honest, my Instagram especially, I, I grew that when I was doing fitness. Fitness freaks are fucking insane, bro. You can get like 100 followings off a decent picture or some decent content. So I, was, I actually grew my 3,000 while it was a different page, and then I deleted that, started a clothing brand, deleted that, <laughs> and now it's my personal one. <laughs> so it's got this weird algorithm, it's completely fucked. So when, that, when I started posting nasty videos of me being funny, motherfuckers in the fitness industry were not impressed. So I fucked my algorithm, I started just fucking the algorithm, so... Use these tips, make mistakes, make more than one page. Um, if you don't like the name, fuck it off. If you if you don't like things, fuck them off. Stop being indecisive, pick it, stick by it, back yourself. I back myself, look at what I'm doing, man. I like my shit's like gut humor mixed with, I don't know, quirky vlogging on top of me mixing music into things. And, and like, I know that gets the juices going for me. And like I'm starting to realize it gets juices going for a lot of you guys too. So know who you are. Be yourself, as corny as that sounds, people want to see you, you might be a Bible pushing motherfucker that loves God, and like, pump that shit, man, I don't give a fuck what you're doing, but know that that's who you are as a person, I'll say for like ill shit, I don't know, I'm not really, there's enough negativity in the world, man, don't add negative to it, so good shit, <laughs> you know what I mean, it's nothing but peace, love and positivity, it's your boy on all the platforms, the tripper, it ain't nothing but love, what up man. Outro. <laughs>